You're tuning in to Natty News Daily with the latest and breaking natural bodybuilding news. Bringing you today's Natty News, your host, Leroy Rollins. What's happening, guys? Welcome to another episode of Natty News Daily. First up in the news, another show update for you guys. As I mentioned in previous videos, these show updates are probably going to be a staple in these videos for the majority of 2020 just because of everything that's going on, the uncertainty of when shows can be held, where they can be held, the number of people that can be there, and all that kind of stuff. So this one is the WMBF Pro-Am and the INBF Northeast Classic. So they're going to be combined into one weekend, June 20th and 21st. So from my understanding, these shows were going to be on separate weekends, separate events, but uh, whatever the reason is, they are combining them um, on June 20th and 21st. So uh, super exciting that they're still going to be able to, you know, do their best to run the event. They did note in the, the post that they're going to accommodate all COVID-19 restrictions. So what that means, I'm not entirely sure, and they're probably not entirely sure as well. Um, you know, as of right now, any events are kind of kiboshed at this time, but maybe they're hopeful that by June, you know, certain restrictions will be lifted and maybe it'll be something as simple as not having spectators, maybe limiting the number of athletes at a given time. Maybe they run each class, you know, separately instead of having all the athletes in the venue at the same time, maybe over the course of the day, you know, they have their bodybuilders. So say you got 20 bodybuilders in the morning, then they leave and then you know, 20 men's physique athletes come in, then they leave, and then your bikini, your figure, etc. So uh, they they noted that they're going to accommodate all COVID-19 restrictions, like I said. So uh, we'll see what that entails. And uh, yeah, so over the weekend of June 20th, 21st, WMBF Pro-Am and IMBF Northeast Classic. Next up, Keithy West, Chris McCready posted an arm transformation, and you guys are seeing it on screen right now. Uh, just incredible. <laughs> Absolutely insane. If you guys don't follow Chris McCready on Instagram, please do. Uh, super hardworking kid, only 22 years old, very accomplished bodybuilder already, and a very bright future ahead of him. Uh, he's a big fan of Arm Day Every Day. That's his, his little slogan that he likes to abide by. And, uh, you know, I don't think he absolutely kills his arms every day, but every workout you'll see him doing some biceps, you'll see him doing some triceps, and he's getting it done. And you can't argue with the results he's got. Some people are going to say that's overtraining. Some people are going to say that's too much. But, I mean, look at the guy's arms, and he's natural. He doesn't have enhancements. This is literally just him working his ass off, getting the results, and you guys are seeing it. You can't argue with that. So amazing arm transformation. I wanted to post it in this video because it's just insane. <laughs> like it looks like a, a totally different person, um, which is incredible. Uh, next up, Doug Miller and his uh, supplement company, Core Nutraceuticals. Uh, their new and improved pump pre-workout just launched. So I wanted to give Doug a shout out. If you guys don't know who Doug Miller is, you really should. Uh, arguably one of the best natural bodybuilders ever. Um, just insane. Just like I said, one of the best natural bodybuilders ever. And, uh, be sure to follow him on Instagram because you're going to be nothing but inspired by what this man has accomplished, not only in business, but in his physique, in the sport of bodybuilding, natural bodybuilding, especially he's done some amazing stuff. So yeah, their new formula launched of their new pump non-stim pre-workout they have combo packs and deals and all kinds of stuff so be sure to check them out support doug and his brand and uh show him some love last up in the news another transformation this time by jack gad jack's been on the podcast a few times so you guys can go check them out follow him on instagram at jack gad fitness but anyways he posted an eight year transformation so eight years between these two photos and uh man he's like doubled in size <laughs> literally, uh, which is incredible. So eight years, he notes in his posts that in that time, he's dieted for roughly two years, uh, not two years straight, but two years total. So that takes into account uh, two contest preps, uh, two mini cuts, well, not two mini cuts, he said a couple mini cuts, but two years total of that eight years he spent dieting. So the rest of that time has been spent gaining six years. Okay, so six years of gaining between these two photos, eight years total. And something I want you guys to pay attention to is the ratio of 
how much time gaining to cutting. Majority of his time was spent gaining, and that's what a lot of people seem to forget that, you know, everybody wants to be shredded all the time. Everybody wants to have abs. Everybody wants to be, you know, vascular and lean and look good on the beach and look good for Instagram. But the reality is that most of your progress is going to be made when you are out of that mindset of trying to be lean and just focus on gaining, focus on adding new tissue, progressing in the gym, eating lots, training hard, resting, and letting your body grow. And, uh, you know, this picture that Jack posted is uh, a testament to that. So uh, I just wanted to post that up because it's pretty it's pretty true. You know, it's, it's an accurate description of what bodybuilding is, whether you're natural or enhanced. You need to spend the majority of your time trying to gain and trying to progress. And, uh, you know, this picture right here, eight years between photos, and I'd say it's eight years well spent, um, eight years of work eight years of effort, eight years of focus on Jack's part. So very, very good. So thanks for watching today's news, guys. I know not a huge episode, but we're easing into a new week. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at natty underscore news underscore daily. And I'll see you guys in the next video.